Curious Gomo. Wow, what a great looking paper airplane. We're going to fly some paper airplanes today, huh? Uh, what? That's not it? What's with the helmets? I wonder what you kids are up to. Do our friends watching know what's going on? Oh, how far up are they going to go? friends have reached space on their paper airplane. Mm? Gomi, are you cold? Uh-oh, Toto's beginning to float. Grab onto something. Hold on tight, little friends. Doesn't it feel like we're closer to Earth? Oh no, they're falling back down to Earth! with the air is causing a fire! Phew! What a relief! There was a parachute! Friends, exploration to space. Success! <laughs> Today, Gomu and his friends explored space on a paper airplane. In space, there's no air, so they need a helmet to be able to breathe. And since there's no air, there's also no sound in space. That's why we need wireless communication devices. And there's no gravity in space, so everything just floats around. Doesn't that sound spectacular? But it's really freezing in space. You have to wear protective clothing when you go there. <laughs> Alright then, Gomo. Until next time, stay curious, curious! We're at a museum today. Wow, those are T-Rex bones. Those are bones of a mammoth. Oh, Gumi! You shouldn't climb the exhibitions! Huh? You too, Toto? Get down from there, kids! Phew, thank goodness none of you were hurt. 
children. You shouldn't be horsing around in a museum where lots of people come visit. And you especially should never climb the exhibitions, okay? <laughs> <sighs> Those bones are just too big and heavy for us to put back together. <gasps> Whoa! You used the tiny machine to make the bones smaller. All right then, Gomi and Wupa, you take the mammoth. Gomo and Toto will try to put the T-Rex back together. Dinosaur and bone puzzle play, begin! <sighs> Hmm, something doesn't seem right. Can our friends out there figure out what's wrong here? I see. Those aren't horns, they're tusks for the mammoth. Hmm, something still seems a little off, though. Oh. 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 Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. The front legs of both the animals have been switched. <laughs> now that seems just about right. Oh. Good job, Uba! Uba. <laughs> hmm. There's something else that feels not right, though. That's it! The T-Rex is a meat eater, so of course it would have really sharp teeth. We've completed putting the T-Rex and the mammoth back together. T-Rex and the Mammoth sure do look mighty amazing! Today we learned a little about the T-Rex and the Mammoth. The T-Rex has really sharp teeth and a really powerful jaw. That's because the T-Rex is a carnivore or meat-eating dinosaur. But its front legs are tiny compared to its body. The mammoth is covered in heavy fur with a great big body and equally huge tusks. These tusks aren't horns, they're actually the animal's incisor teeth. The woolly mammoth used these tusks to knock down trees to eat its leaves or to protect themselves from dangerous predators. Wasn't that a whole lot of fun? Alright, Gomo, until next time, stay curious, curious! <laughs>